Hi, welcome back to HKZ.TV's Cricket Academy, home of the stars, stars and stars. And when we say stars, it's about the amateur world, it's about these youngsters, it's about these amateurs who've most probably had dreams and played from young, come all this way, or they have a dream and they want to go on to play a platform. It was all these things together that brought the HKZ International platform for over a decade around the world proud to have been the pioneers in the digital concepts. And Doj, tell me a few words. You just said you were watching the game. How exciting are you? Excited are you feeling? And you've played a few matches. You're in the tournaments as well. Tell me, tell me, what, what, what's your overall feedback on it all? I mean, first of all, thank you. Uh, thank you for all for this opportunity. Last time we played here against uh, the same team, it was uh, very good. So uh, the hospitality, the groundsmen, the video men, the cameramen, everything was 100%. So we thought we'll give it another shot over here, and even next week we have a tournament going on. Hope everything goes well. Well, you've got a tournament. How do you think of the standard of the games when you go back and you watch them and you feel, it's not the first time. I mean, we've got 10 years of games up there. So 10 years of games in bringing the slow motion replay reviews and giving you that opportunity. It's no different from the international platform, exactly what's happening on international level. We're about to introduce a couple of more things where you'll be able to hear the snick-offs and certain other you know, um, elements of um, the game where, where a batsman often, often says he didn't um, edge it, and then we'll hear it. Absolutely, we are almost there, I don't 95% of international standards, there's five more to go. So, pretty well job done by all of you and the organizers over here. Well, we look forward for a great game, review, slow motion, you have your reviews, you know you're, um, you've got the power play, you've got two fielders outside the circle, um, we have a variety of balls we can play with and experiment. I'm sure they might, you might want to play with it. Well, how about a bright yellow egg ball? Oh, you would prefer a white ball because last time we played with the pink, so we'll prefer a white ball this time. All right, he prefers for the white ball, but I must say we are introducing new balls and not always when you get a white ball. I know the trend in the UAE is a white ball, but today for Santosh, you'll get a white ball. But um, at the end of the day, do we have a white ball all in stock, mate? There we go. Yes, yes, yes. That's what I like to hear because we've got a lot of variety and all the games have been in a white ball. So we're just trying to bring that pink and that the yellow and everything else. So tell me, Mr. Ramzan, how are you feeling? Come back, captaining, a lot of exciting times ahead, notwithstanding, nothing new, a lot of exciting times in the past, um, standards which we've set internationally from London. Um, got a lot. Actually, it's so exciting to see you've got your London production crew coming back as well. So that, that's amazing to see the crew arrive from London. That's something new for the new grounds. So, um, you know, and all moving forward um, in the plans over the next few months, um, that'd be so exciting to have them back here from England and to come and carry out the same standards that we do in London because we still haven't reached the UK standards. Uh, no, uh, this is absolutely exciting. Uh, we always know how our London production is. It's top notch, it's quality, it's international level just like we have here. And um, to bring that experience, to bring that quality to the UAE is something that's never been done before. And uh, these cameramen from the UK are very professional, very uh, hardworking people, and I'm sure they'll deliver the quality beyond our dreams. Yeah, I mean, I remember in, in, during the corona time, they would be there on time, they would set out the platform. I mean, everything when you would get there. In natural fact, the crew would be chasing me. Come on, Lion, let's do this. Come on, Lion, what's the rollout? And I think you're absolutely right. It's so good to have them back from the UK and come and settle here. And why not? With teams like Dubai Hurricanes and everybody else, we're all foreigners at the end of the day from the UK and other parts of the world as well. No, of course. Uh, look, everything in the UK is where we started. The HK has originated from the UK. So we bring everything from the UK uh, for the people of the UAE. So they experience something they might not get to experience in their lifetime. And that's been our job to provide the opportunity, that UK standard that everyone dreams of playing uh, well, for the people around here. Absolutely. Nazreen, this is a very important thing for us that our crew is going to join us from the UK. They have decided that because of the economy down, they are going to join us with the economy down. They are going to join us with the economy down. They are going to join us with the economy down. They are going to join us with the economy down. They are going to join us with the economy down. This is a very important thing for us. So, with our English people, 
कुछ अपने ही हैं बीच में जो इंग्लैंड में बसते हैं जो कि मूव करना चाह रहे हैं आई थिंक दैट्स अ ह्यूज इंसेंटिव और आगे भी बहुत अच्छी और माशाल्लाह मुबारकबाद ये रमज़ान का महीना बहुत ज़्यादा मुबारक और बरकत साबित हुआ है तो उसके जरिए से भी हम इन बहुत कुछ अनाउंसमेंट्स करने वाले हैं आने वाले माहों के लिए And with that, heads with Her Majesty, tails with the UAE. You're gonna call, nice call, clean flip. Let's go for it. Heads with the call, and tails it is. Hitch gets in with the toss. What do you want to do? Yeah, we're gonna bat first. They want to bat first. What did you want to do, Sir Dosh? Bat first as well because uh, I just uh, checked the uh, due. factor i think uh, now there's a bit of due so as the game progresses there'll be a more of, more of due and uh, it'll be tough to go ahead with the uh, ground shots so good good call good call so unfortunately team's name again quick devils quick devils have lost the toss there this evening hk has had won the toss they've elected to bat first quick dev wants to do also bat first so i can't even say technically one team has won and the other one has lost so with that I think the game is on. HK is dead, boys. I think the top four need to start padding up, and um, game is on. So yeah, it's been absolutely amazing. It's a lot of, you know, we've been bringing the concepts to the world. Last coming on to nearly two years now, having moved out here to the UAE,、um, been absolutely amazing to have settled a digital concept which we launched at the ICC. In 2017, late with His Highness Sheikh Saeed bin Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Maktoum and the royal dignitaries and the locals that walked the red carpet, giving a huge push to the amateur world digital concept, and it was absolutely magnificent. And here we are, as we said, 365 days a year. We've delivered the commitments, and I think that's what it's about.、Um, quality、um, is what you need to be obviously delivering. Quantity should not be. The question in hand, but however, www.hkz.tv, www.londonpremierleagues.live, www.hkzsports.services, and www.hkzcricketacademy.com. If you're not already here as an individual, join one of the teams. Let's get you onto the next level. Stay tuned.
Right, here we are. Oh, The first ball, a dot ball hit straight to mid-wicket. Hassan Ramzan on strike to open up the innings for HKZ. Uh, with... Oh, just a little, little... Little slice off the splice of the bat. Straight to the man at back point. No run there. Two dot balls to open up the innings for the DOZ Kings. It's going to be... Um, see how this game pans out. See if HK is can pick up the power play. And get off to a good start. Down the leg side. Missed by the keeper. And they're going to scurry through for another single. So that's going to be two runs. Off of that delivery to open the account for HKZ. Yeah, so we are here. Uh, HKZ, Panmoy Gosh 11 versus HKZ. Um, Took on Ramzan, rotating his roles, playing as an opener today. Uh, just leaving the first one outside off, rightly so. It's a wide ball. So another extra. I think there's three extras in the over already. You cannot afford that in T20 cricket. Joined in the commentary box by. Anas Mustafa, one of Pakistan's finest. Ooh, inside edge onto the pad. Anas, uh, give me your thoughts and feelings on um, your time here in Dubai. I was feeling wonderful when I was here, uh, enjoying the tournament, enjoying the weather out there. It's really nice. Enjoying the cricket out there. It's really nice. It's first experience for me, but it's really nice for me. I think he said it's really nice. Not sure if you guys caught that. Uh, but yeah, uh, great player, great guy. Uh, he's in a bit of bad. He's a bit, a bit of bad form right now, but uh, he'll bounce back. Oh, just an attempt to flick down the leg side. Another wide. That's three wides in a row now, and turning out to be an expensive over. And HKZ, if they pick up a boundary in this over, could prove very costly. And the first over always sets the tone and the momentum for the rest of the inning. So. It's always important that that first over goes well. So if this goes bad for the DOZ Kings, it could very well change the momentum of the whole game. Another ball on the stumps this time. Zikai slightly pushes it straight to uh, mid-off. No real intent to score on that ball. Just wanted to see, see it through, get his eye in, feel the ball in the middle of the bat, and then go from there. Catches the outside edge, and they're going to take a single there Back a point's going to run around, collect that. And another single.
punches it straight back to the bowler for a dot ball. Just a straight punch through the gap. I think that's going to run away. The ball is brand, brand new, hard on the deck. And the outfield is... Ooh, just punch straight to the man at cover. So uh, the bowler here, Furkan, uh, recovering well after that four hit by Zikria, proceeded to bowl uh, two dots, a wide and a single, and only five runs off the over so far. So not bad from him. No, sorry, six runs off the over so far. Hit straight back, and I don't think he's even meant to have done that, but he stopped runs for his team. I think that's all he's going to care about. Smoked into the foot. Hasnan smokes it back to the bowler. He stops it with his foot, and that's going to end the second over. A steady score of 12 for no loss after two overs. Zakaria on eight. It's across sitting on six. And Hasnan yet to get off the mark. Change of bowler from the desert end brings on what, Prakash and it starts off with a wide as well. It's a wide down the leg side, they're going to run through as well, pick up two. Prakash yet to bowl a legal delivery. Uh, not, not a great start, There's a lot of extras going down for the DOZ Kings. I think Prakash coming. Gosh, he's coming around the wicket, trying to angle it back into the left ha right hander. Short top edge. Oh, that is this. Oh, that's an extremely soft dismissal. A very soft dismissal for Hasnan. Tries to play across the line. And catches the top edge straight back to the bowler and a simple catch. He's going to be disappointed with himself. Won't be too happy with himself here. Uh, a very soft dismissal. He's a very good batsman. That's not the way he would have liked to get out. Uh, just trying to glide it into the leg side. Catches the top edge straight up. 
into the bowler's hands and he wasn't dropping that. Had he dropped that, I don't think his captain would have wanted him on the field for the rest of the innings. But yeah, uh, first wicket goes down for the HK's development. 14 for one after two overs and the main strike batsman, Hassan Ramzan, gone cheaply. I don't think he got off the mark yet. Not didn't trouble the scorers at all. And with that comes the first wicket. First ball down the leg side again to the new batsman, Muzammil. Signals are wide, so only one legal delivery in this over, and that too picking up a wicket. Uh, I think the captain is going to want this bowler to bowl on the stumps because the minute he did do that, picks up a wicket on the stump line. Try and hit the deck hard. Get that new ball swinging nice and full. There's solid defence by Muzamil. Straight to the man at short cover. Who's just going to pick it up with ease. And another dot ball. HKZ. Batting a little conservatively in the power play. Which is something that I think could be a major downfall. And could bite them in the end. Full toss. Just puts his bat down. And stopped. Football style by the man at back point. They're going to run through for a single. Well played by Mazamil. He was going to slash at that. It could have caught the outside edge and gone straight through to the keeper with the angle that Bakash is bowling at. So for him to just lay the bat down was smart of him. Uh, there's a create on strike now to face Bakash. Tries to flick it down the leg side, but another wide ball signalled. He's not going to be happy with himself here, Prakash. He's leaking runs that he shouldn't be giving. Not making the batsman work for his runs. And in T20 cricket, that's what you need to do. Make the batsman earn their runs. The DOZ Kings aren't doing that at the moment. They're giving extra freebies for no reason. And that's something they're going to need to cut down on. Is a crest out there on six. Bat first. But they still go up for the appeal. And rightly declined by the umpire. So another, a rare dot ball for Prakash here. Uh, needs to get his lines right. The minute he starts bowling on the stumps, he has the batsman troubled. But he needs to pick that up and use that to his value with the angle he's creating. Lovely punch by Zikria. Just, just straight of mid-off. Makes him run around. They're going to collect a single off of that. So the last ball... One ball to come in this over. The score 18 for 1. Not bad. Going at a healthy run rate of 6 and over. But they're probably going to be a bit upset that they can't get more than that in the power play. Because that's only going to get less. Ooh, just a slightly wider ball. Mazamil tries to replicate his first shot. Misses out. That's the end of the over. 18 for 1 after 3 overs. And was, um, Prakash picking up a wicket. Giving 6 runs only. So each bowler giving only six runs. It's a good start for the DOZ Kings. Punched by Zikri and picks the gap. I think it's going to run away for four. 
I don't think he timed that as well as he could have, but just gets enough power past it. The outfield here is quick today, no no due at all. I think a very good shot. That's going to give Zikra a bit of confidence to try and get a move on and pick up this power play. Just wide outside off by Shaquille. Smokes it past cover, Zikria. Throws his hands at the wide one. And gets the reward. Zikra going at a runner ball now. And they've changed their field. They brought the deep third man in. And Zikria, for Zikria, pushed out the deep cover. Seeing as he scored two boundaries there. Fine leg still remains. Zikria tries to play a, a, a late cut, almost a death touch. Almost a death touch to third man where the man has just been brought in. So good good awareness by Zikra to know that the field's changed. But uh, couldn't, couldn't execute what, what seems to be his thought process. Just straight to point. He's put it down. And I think that's going to run away for four as well. Yep. Zikria trying to use the pace to his effect. But with the uneven bounce on the deck. And the ball just slightly getting stuck in the pitch. Mistimes it completely. And almost middles it straight to the man at back of point. Who's dropped an absolute sitter. His captain's not going to be happy with him at all. Zikria, an early life for him. Could have been two down here, but Zikria running away to the boundary. And two boundaries in the over now, with only, with three balls still left to come. Here comes Shaquille running in. Zikria trying to slice him again through point. Not moving his feet as much as he should be uh, to cover for the swing that Shaquille is getting. And I think Zikria, if he just throws his hands at it a little more, could get it past that extra cover fielder. And with the quick outfield and the hard ball and the power play, it will run away for four. There's just a wide ball down the leg side, taken by the keeper, and another wide. How many extras? That's ten extras in four, less than four overs. It's not looking good. With the rate that they're going at, easily 60 runs could be scored off just extras. Full toss straight back to the bowler who drops it again. Zikria frustrated with himself. He's not finishing his shots like he usually does. Playing half-hearted shots here. Just punching the ball. And another drop catch. This time by the bowler himself. Has no one to blame. Had to do all the hard work himself and he puts down the catch. That's two catches dropped in the over by Shaquille. For Shaquille. Zikra just blocking out the last ball. And rightly so. Nine runs off that over. With two chances for a wicket. Zikra needs to be a bit cautious here. Know that he has to dig in and play long. If he wants to take his team to a defendable total. And Muzammil needs to support him there. And do some run scoring of his own. Good was back on a big heaving slog there by Muzammila. I think that's hit him in the box. Uh, Abdul Kudus with the first ball hits him, and Muzammil trying to swing that ball into the desert he fails to do so. Just holding up in the pitch ever so slightly, but just enough to make the batsman second guess his shots. The DOZ Kings applying a pressure field here with catches around the bat. And a wide ball. There's catches around the bat here. And I think they've only got the one outfield of the man at deep cover. 
Uh, yeah, I think that is only the only outfielder. Oh no, there's a man at fine leg. Mozambi uh, swinging at it again, misses out. Keeper doesn't take it cleanly, but they don't take any runs off of it. Another big heaving swing, and he's missing out here. Mozambil's missing out here. Abdul giving Mozambil some space to free his arms and have a swing at it, but he's missing out. He's not playing for the swing here. He needs to start moving his feet a bit more, getting in line. There, hits it straight down. I think that's going to clear the infield and run away for four. Yep, just clears that front leg, moves it out of the way, puts his bat through the ball. And let's physics do the rest. Gets it away to the boundary for four. And a much needed boundary. It's been a decent over so far. Only only one run off it before that boundary. So uh thirty two for one the score. Mozamil scoring his hitting his first boundary and a wide ball to follow up and I think they're gonna run through for another single as well. So again, the extras coming back and biting the DOZ Kings. Bringing the set batsman Zikri on strike to face Abdul. Zikri's already faced him. So we'll see how this fares up. Zikri knows what to expect here. So he should be a bit, a bit more comfortable. Play accordingly. And another wide. There we go. Extras moving up to 14 now, all off of whites, no no balls, no leg buys, no buys, nothing of the sort, just whites. So the bowlers need to fix their line and make their batsmen work for the runs here. And another wide, I think, no, left alone, Zikria shakes his head in disappointment, knows he should have played at that. And Abdul barely, barely getting away with that one. Umpire with a bit of leniency there. The last ball, the over. A looped up full toss. Zikra just punches back to the bowler. Doesn't take the risk of trying to clear the infield. And with that, commences the fifth over. 35 for five. And extra is taking the run rate from six to seven now. With 15. Zikriya sitting on 15 of 18. Mazumbin five of seven. Only for eight runs off the over, so the captain won't be too happy with that considering more, half of those runs came off of extras alone and only four of those were actually scored from the batsman. So the last over of the power play here, seven and over. I think the HKZ boys will be looking to maybe get that up to 45 at best in the power play, which isn't bad considering the loss of the one wicket. They're going to want to get that up to 45 maybe, I think. Uh, 45 and 6 overs would be a good score for them to be sitting at the projected score right now 147 but on this pitch we know batting second isn't easy it's n it never is so I think a respectable score on this pitch one th 130 actually with the bowling that the HK is a development possess with the likes of uh, Zikria, Kaf, Hasnan, Halil and Dunway coming in the middle over and then their trump card Hasib to come in and bowl with race as well with this darty leg spins. A good ball to start the over. A dot ball by uh, I think Prakash back in coming in from the the f the, the center end, the cricket center end. Running in from the cricket center end. Loops it in. Mazama tries to swing that into oblivion again. Misses out. Yet again, he needs to keep his head still and hit through the line here. There is no man. DOZ keeping the outfield clear. There's no man at deep square. There is no man at long on. No man at deep mid. Only a deep fine leg who is also slightly round. So that area completely vacant. And Prakash needs to bowl according to his field because he's got no protection here on the leg side. And he's still bowling him down the leg side. He's hooping it into the right hander. He needs to use that to his advantage and maybe try and sneak one past the pat uh, between bat and pad, and uh, or even trap one of the batsmen in front. A wide ball there, two runs. 
just punches by Zikra, picks the gap there and gets a strike, keeping that strike rotating and the scoreboard ticking and that her bowl is helping him to do that. Helping him to do that. Zikria, uh, just picking the gap there, keeping the strike rotating. Again, missed by, missed by the keeper completely, and the first buys of the innings come through. Uh, Muzamil again trying to swing across the line. Prakash not not happy with his keeper there, letting one straight through his legs. A regulation take that's gone straight through his legs. They're going to pick up another single here, which brings Zikria back on strike. The opener, who just punches it back. Zikria needs to, ooh. A little bit of a little bit of aggression shown by the bowler here, threatening to throw the ball back at Zikri. I think he's a bit upset. He's not too happy with his keeper at the moment, who's uh, let the buys go and gotten the set batsman back on strike. I think he wanted his rest of his over to go to Muzammil. Zikri punches it, pass backward point, who slides, cuts it off and stops. What could have been a boundary and limits it to only a single. So a good overall in all for Prakash. Only the five runs off it. Zikria on 17 off of 21 with Muzamil struggling ever so slightly trying to find his rhythm here. Sitting on five off of 10 with a strike rate of 50. And two two extras in that over. So they're going to want to they're gonna wanna play just a little more attacking. With that, six overs gone and the power play up for the HK as a development, 40 for one at the end of the power play. And um, I don't think they're going to be too worried considering the firepower they have uh, yet to come. Race, um, Anas, they still have Dunmoy who can hit the ball, Hasib, Daniel and the main man, the big batsman, Halil Ibrahim to come in next uh, in the fall of a wicket and continue to pick up this runs. Let's change of bowler end now from the power plant end. Asad Qureshi is going to come in and uh, replace Abdul Qudus if I'm not wrong. Uh, yeah, replacing Abdul Qudus, the new bowler here. I think it's a spinner, Zikriya. Let's see how we let's see how he gets along. See how he gets on against the spinners. Um, Zikriya. Oh no, it's a medium pacer, sorry. That's my bad. The keeper is stood back. Uh, so you can see now the field spreading. Long on and long off have been implemented. There's a deep square, deep mid wicket and a deep cover. Oh no, he is a spinner. Keeper taking an unorthodox approach to this over by standing back to the spinner. Which is an interesting decision. Zikria punches it past. Covers. Like you just saw, picks up the single. Smart batting by him to keep the strike rotating. I think Mozambique is going to want to charge the spinner. But he's going to have to be careful because it could cost him his wicket. A short double bounce. And I think that might be called a no ball yet. A no ball called by uh, the umpire. Double bounce before it reaches the batsman. Which means that this ball is going to be a free hit. And Mozambique looking for a chance to open up the floodgates and hit a boundary here. This could be it. A full toss. And he's completely missed it. He's been bowled. But I don't think they know it's a free hit. The whole team celebrating, but to no avail. It's bit, it's a free hit. Mozambil, with half a life, I'll call it, because he couldn't have been out that ball, but now knows the consequences of what will happen if he tries to play across the line again. And I think he needs to learn from that. We'll see if he does. He's going to have to learn from that and know that he has to hit him over straight over long on and not over mid wicket because of the flight that Usad is bowling with here flatter bit of a flatter trajectory completely missed by uh, Mozammil Mozammil trying to find his flow here but struggling to do so just the one just the two runs off this over so far and a good one at that three balls left let's see what Mozammil can do can he produce a boundary here a much needed boundary Flight it up, just hits it into the leg side. There's no man there. I'm going to run through for a single. That's what he needs to do. If he can't clear the ropes, 
and he's struggling against the bowler, just get off strike. You can't get out the non-striker's end by your own fault. So, the best way to survive is to stay off strike. Right now, Muzaman needs that. Zikria slaps it down the ground. I think he's pierced the gap. Both of the men converging. Cut off by the man who came in at long off. They run through for two. Zikra just respecting the flight here, punches it back, ends the over here, five runs off the over only, seven overs gone, 45 for one, and the score not looking too great, it could be a lot better for the HK development, but they're not going to be worried at all, uh, like I said, with the batting they have to come. Muzammil needs to get a pick, uh, needs to get a move on here, in my opinion, six off of 14, and I'm hoping that he can play catch up and not cost his team dot balls because they're so vital in T20 cricket. There shouldn't be any dot balls. Dot balls should be turned to singles, as we all know. And um, he's not doing that at the moment. It's something he needs to start thinking about doing. Uh, I think Furkan to come on now, replacing Prakash. Cut. Pass backward point. There we go. That's the confidence booster he needed. Looking for that shot outside off. Throws his hands at it. And Muzammil gets it away to the boundary. Uh, he needed that. Not for not for, for himself and for the team. And uh, I think the back of point has been moved to almost a wide third man. So he's taking advantage of that little slicing shot that he loves to play. And uh, Furkan giving him the room to play it. Just blocks it down and Zikra sends him back and rightly so not a run there. And Zikra with the correct call. And um, a good way to start the over for uh, Muzammil. Gets his confidence up a backward point four. So always a nice shot to play if you can pull it off. We go for a gun running in. Let's see how he replies. Full and straight Yorker. Big appeal and umpire. I think he just... Just says it's going down leg slightly, ever so slightly. It's going to be another dot ball there. Two dots in a row. Three to come here. And Zamil looking to play slightly more aggressive after that boundary. Misses another one. Probably should have just punched that through covers. He could have gotten that away. Massive gap between long off and deep cover where there is no man. I think if he can get it past that gap because the short cover is catching, he could get four or at least three. A wide ball there, another wide, another extra. These haven't been uncommon in this innings. They're flowing like water here. The the extras for the DOZ Kings are going to need to cut down on that. And 50 comes up. 50 comes up for the HKZ development side. A w another wide ball missed by the keeper. The bowler's really making this keeper work today uh, with the wide. Really getting him moving behind the stumps. Two runs off of that. For a uh, not Probably not his best over at the moment. And another wide again. You can see uh, so far, eight runs off the over and still one delivery to come, if I'm not mistaken. No, two deliveries to come. Uh, let's see where this goes. Zikria just slicing it, catches the bottom edge and it's going to run away. Cut off by the man who's going to pick it up and Zikria opts against the two after seeing that the man had already collected the ball. But just a single there and another, another run added to the total. That's what they need to keep doing. Keep that scoreboard moving and the DOZ development need to keep up the pressure. They need to they need to start creating pressure here by not allowing wides to go. Full to the man. Muzammil wants to run but Zikra sends him back. 
precedes the end of the over. Eight overs gone, 54 for one. In the development, 11 looking at a steady score of 142 with the rate they're playing at. Uh, but that could all change. All change for the better or for the worse. We don't know. We're going to have to wait and see. Slashed away, past the man. I don't think that's going to run away. Oh, it is going to run away. Beats Prakash. Beats the man at deep cover, who was almost at a deep cover point. He's not going to be happy, the bowler. He didn't check his field before that ball was released. And cost him a boundary, where Prakash should have been. Wasn't paying attention. It's cost his team a boundary. A very good shot by Zikra, slapping it away. Picks up on the short delivery, makes use of it. Uh, Zakria scoring steadily here, trying to keep his team alive in this game. Another full toss, just punches it to long on for a single smart cricket to keep the scoreboard rotating. Five runs off the over with only two balls bowled. And that's what Zakria is going to look to do take the game long, take it deep, and in the process, score runs for his team so that. They have something to defend in the end. Muzamil, uh, almost at one run every two balls. Slaps it. I think that he's got the gap. The man at long off, sticking his arm out to try and save the ball, but fails to do so. I think he might have got just a fingertip to it, but it wasn't enough to stop. Very sweetly struck by Muzamil. Slaps it away. Pass long off, and he's going to need a couple more of those to get his confidence up before he starts Really laying into the spinner. Three runs, sorry, three balls only gone in this over and already nine off it. So we're going to have to see whether Asad can pull this over back or if this over is going to go towards the development. A big swing and just as I say it, he goes. Asad replies with a wicket. Muzamil way in over his head, tries to smoke the ball. Played a lovely shot the ball before and a not so great shot after to follow it up. Cost him his wicket. And with that, the second wicket gain down, 63 for two. And Asad draws second blood here as Halil walks in to play with his partner. So the strike batsman walks to the crease for the development side. HKSZ's power, he's the backbone of the the batting um, side of the team. The, the main striker in the team, the cleanest hitter, the fastest runner, the most diverse batsman. Mr. 360, they call him. Halil Ibrahim walks into the middle to face his first ball against the spinner. Tosses it up just flicks it off of his pads ever so gracefully for a single and Halil off the mark with his first ball that will keep him smiling it's been very dangerous in the last few games sticking in there with Zikria these two accumulating partnerships that have been very healthy for HKZ. let's see whether Halil can drag this back
tosses it up. Zikria smokes it down the ground. And the two men converging. Longoff is going to pick that up and get it in. So just a single off it. And with that, the end of the over. 11 runs off it. So slightly expensive, but picks up the wicket that he wanted of Mazumil's. Does Asid. So nine overs gone now. 65 for two is the score. And this game, very evenly poised. That. Change of bowler at the cricket centre end and starts off with a wide. Does uh, the bowler Gulam Sarwar? Gulam bowling from the cricket centre end to Sikria, who's on strike. Tossed up. Jika smokes it past the man. That's going to run away. Oh, well fielded by the man who uh, long off runs around to cut it off. No, very good honesty and sportsmanship by him to, to uh, tell the umpire that did go for four. And a very good shot by Zikria. Just gets it past the left-hand side of extra cover. Um, Mr. Gorsh there. Smokes it past him for four. Very good by Zikria. Pushes back, almost pops it straight into his hands. Almost pops it straight into his hands. Zikria just misreading the length. And uh, just a dot ball there. Zikria smokes it back down to the man at long off. And now I am with joining me in the commentary box here. Uh, Spundan Gosh. Younger brother of the strike bowler for the HKZ side, Dun Moy Gosh. Spondon, uh, this is your first time watching your brother play and your dad play together. Tell me, uh, how are you feeling? Uh, yes, my first time seeing my dad and my brother play against one another. Uh, it feels really good. Hoping that my brother doesn't beat my dad in the game. So, yeah. Also, uh, Spondon already picking sides here. Uh, tell me, what do you think? Um, I, you might have been following your brother's uh, performances yesterday. Picked up the main wicket of uh, James. Massive wicket there uh, where everyone was struggling to pick up that wicket. He comes in in his first over, uh, gets the breakthrough. Tell me, uh, has Salomo been working in the net? He looks like he's been training hard. So uh, tell me, what's been going on with him? How did he become so good all of a sudden? He's been working out uh, at home and even in the nets. And he's been constantly pra practicing for cricket. Uh, as a team, Tanmash team might win. Uh, the higher chance of Tanmash team winning. Uh, but against my dad, my dad's more professional and more experienced than Tanmay. So, as we see here, Spandan rooting for his dad here, but saying that there's a higher chance the HKZ boys will take this win. Um, thank you, Spandan. It was very good talking to you. I'll let you go now. Uh, very good guy, very nice kid. And uh, with that commences the end of the over. I think there was a chance created at backward point, which wasn't taken. Uh, Halil just getting a life there, playing a bit of a lazy shot. Could have sliced that completely. Missed out. Uh, score now 73 for two at the end of the 10th over. Halfway through now, 
of the innings, the first innings, 73 for two. Halil Ibrahim on two runs. With Zikria on 33, healthy strike rate of 100, trying to take this game deep. So I'm here now, people running in and out of the commentary box here. I'm with, uh, sorry, that was a bit of static there, uh, Salim messing up with the camera. But um, I'm with, with Muhammad now, baby Muhammad. Uh, his two brothers batting right now. Muhammad, tell me, I just saw you batting on the sidelines. Uh, how many runs did you score? 102. Muhammad scoring centuries left, right and centre. Uh, how did you get out? I got, um, the first time I got bowled, and then I got sent, did I get bowled? No, hit wicket. Hit wicket, then I got bowled. Oh, that's very unfortunate. Um, tell me, uh, the bowler, was he Av bowler? No, um, A division, so. A division bowler. Who was the bowler, Muhammad? Kat Ramzan. Kat Ramzan, the A division bowler. Muhammad absolutely spanking him across the ground, scoring 102. Oh, top edge. Just the one run there. Halil swiveling on the balls of his feet. Catches the top edge and almost gets caught there. Uh, Halil needs to get his head down and focus. Zikra there, a slight full, low full toss, just flicks it off his pad to the man at short mid. Smack down the ground. What a strike by Halil. Absolute fluency all the way. Absolutely beautiful flow of the bat there. Smoke down the ground. Pure timing and nothing else. Get to dead straight like an arrow all the way for six. The first six of the boundary. And Mr. 360 showing his value here. Absolute smokage. Putting the bowler under the pump here. Um, I said under the pump now. Halil coming in and doing his job by smacking the ball around. Let's see how he follows up with that amazing shot. Tossed up again. Tries to do tries to smoke it again and misses it completely. Seeing shades of Muzammil in Halil, the way he hit one four and wanted to go for another. And the coach Ramzan giving 
coach Ramzan giving uh, Halil uh, a bit of advice. Short and another no ball, completely missed by the keeper. Halil wants to face the free hit, so he takes strike. <laughs> Halil wanted to face the free hit, runs through, takes a single. So let's see, he's confident in his abilities to clear the boundary, so uh, whether or not he can do it, we'll have to wait and see. But Mr. 360 here, Mr. 360 here, let's see if he can clear the rope. Uh, there's no man at long on. Tossed up, smacked down the ground. <laughs> Beautiful, it's gone for four. Beautiful by Halil. Tracks the bowler, says, you're not getting the better of me. Absolutely smokes it. Absolutely smokes it down the ground and a big mistake by the fielders not to have a long on there. Halil cashing in, takes advantage of that. Still no long on there. Another full toss. Misses out there. But gets through to the single. Halil, Halil utilising his 99 pace. Absolutely... Absolutely rapid between the wickets. Takes a single there to get Zikra back on strike. A very good over so far for the development. Uh, 90 for two. Short. Zikra slaps it down the ground. Past the man. And another four. Zikria looking in optimum form here. Playing absolutely incredible cricket are these two boys. Playing very smart. Very like-minded cricket. They understand each other to a degree that no one else does. And um, it's amazing to see them utilize that. They really understand the game and they're really using their abilities to perfection. Zikria, using his balance perfectly, slaps it down the ground past the man at mid-off. No chance for him to get that. And another boundary in this over. Zikra with six boundaries now, 39 off 37, played catch up. Short down the leg side wide and Halil calling the single rightly so. Another extra. Very good. Very good, very good by Zikriya and Halil. Let's see here. Ooh, down the leg side now wide. There you can see Halil trying to hit it past backwards square leg. That's why they call him Mr. 360. He uses the entire ground to play shots. You, you see shots from this man that haven't been invented. Halil playing ramp shots over deep cover because that's just the way he is. There you can see he meant to leave that so that the keeper gets distracted. He meant to play that shot to distract the keeper, take a single off it. You can just see... The IQ of Halil Ibrahim just on another level, just incomprehensible by every other individual on this ground. And giving the strike back to Zikria. Short again. Zikria shuffling across. I think that might be a wide. Did he hit that? But uh, still doesn't hit the stump. So wide ball called there and another single. So that's two, two wides that have gone for two runs in two consecutive balls. Tossed up, Halil cuts it, and I think that might actually go for four, the way he has hit that. No, good fielding by the man, all the way at deep cover to run around and cut it off. Halil calling two before he'd even hit the ball. Very good batting by him, showing his positive intent to score runs. And that's exactly what you need in T20 cricket, Halil. Pushing, pushing, running the first one hard, scoring runs, rotating, and he's really picked up the run rate since he's come in. Tossed up. Slap down the ground, past mid-wicket, in the gap again. Just the one this time, because the man is going to come across and collect it. Throws it in at the end of the over. 100, up, 100 comes up for the development 11 with one ball to come. 104 for two, 39 of 37 for Zikria. And uh, like I said before, some poor bowling in the terms of extras. Another wide there, you can see extras now creeping up to 35. Extra's now creeping up to 35, which has been a bit of a problem here now. 
uh, development 11 wouldn't even be past 70 if no extras had been bowled. So you can really put into place how, uh, how much that's actually affected them. A dot ball to end the over there. 22 runs off the over. Extremely expensive by Gulam. Zikria and Halil going to town on uh, the absolute buffet bowling of Gulam. Uh, he's gonna wanna. He's gonna wanna. The captain's gonna wanna reconsider his decisions here, and really reevaluate who he can put on here to put Halil and Zikria under some sort of pressure, because Halil striking at 170 and Zikria taking it long, by 39 of 38 with six boundaries. It just shows that. Cricket, T20 cricket, although it is one of the shortest formats, it is still a patience game. Lovely shot, beautiful by Halil, very good by Halil, takes the full toss on, smokes it. Asad Qureshi under the pump, very first ball by Halil. Halil striking at almost 200, uh, uses, uses the full toss to absolutely hammer it past deep mid-wicket. And yet again, the bowl is being put under the pump from the get-go by Halil and Zikria. Uh, a full toss. Let's see how he follows it up. Another full toss. He tries to absolutely smash that. Appealed. Halil misses out. And a dot ball to follow up. A four to start the over. That's not going to be good for us as confidence. Let's see how he gets through the rest of the over. I think Halil will want to keep him, keep putting him under pressure. Keep extracting runs from him. And uh, 109 the score. Creeping up very quickly. Short. Halil tries to get on the back foot, lazy by the keeper. And uh, I think Halil is going to come back for the two. 
Yeah, rightly so. Very good running by him. That's it. Penguin. Uh, uh, a wide ball there. Fly along, boy. Very good by Halil. Uh, good communication between these two. Like I said before, they understand each other very well. The run rate running up to nine now. Uh, they're going to want to drag that down. Tracks it. Hits it straight run it, run up. It, and I don't think it. there's a man out there, so no one's going to take that. But Zikria... Zikria could have come back for the two had he pushed. And Halil showing his intent very early, trying to track it, hit it out of the park, gets the top edge, and bringing Zikria on strike. One thirteen for two. Sikria playing a rare defensive shot and it, it beats his outside edge. Tossed up, just punches it, but another dot ball. I said, with two dot balls, a full toss, slapped back down the ground. I think that might be four. Yeah. Yes, it is. The man at long on kicking it over the boundary, trying to get down on it, but misses it so slightly. Man doesn't get enough of his foot around um, to kick the ball away and just helps it on its way past the boundary. Another four for Zikra, that's seven of them now. Uh, end of the over, 12 runs off it. And another expensive one, Zikria and Halil really pushing across, um, pushing the scoreboard up very quickly. To bowl now from the cricket centre end, Abdul Qudus. Uh, economy of seven has been one of the more um, one of the more e economical bowlers. But let's see how he fares against the inform, the dangerous, the powerful, almighty Halil and Zikria. Let's see how he fares. Abdul Qudus here, running in. Halil slaps it back to him, just a slight misfield there. He's going to get a single. Uh, Abdul Qudus maintaining his great economy of seven. And uh, the captain trusting him with the ball, throwing it back to him, saying, you need to bring this run rate down. And he is on a mission here to do just that. Uh, running in and another wide ball. These extras are going to haunt them here. Uh... Another wide ball there, 119. The run rate still creeping up. It's gone from six to seven, all the way to nine as soon as Halil came in and put the bowlers under the pump. And Zikriya reacting effectively. Oh, he snicked him off. Abdul Qudus turned, the captain turning to Abdul Qudus, turned to Abdul Qudus to pick up the wicket and he's done exactly that. He's brought about a partnership break talking Zikria, talking with his partner to see whether he should review it or not and he's put his bat under his arm signifying he's not going to take that review and that brings the end of a very valiant innings by Zikria, 43 of 42 misses out on another 50 again very unfortunate for him he's been batting so well recently and you can see the disappointment on his face <laughs> to the innings and just gets out when he, when he could have been on the brink of a 50. Nevertheless, doesn't take away how good of an innings he batted 
and how good of an innings he played. And a change in the commentary box. Departure of Zikria now, 43. Stabilised the innings after a couple of early wickets. Halil still out there on 22. Joined by Daniel. First ball hits him onto the pads. It's a light appeal from the bowler, Abdul. No run. And Daniel just leaves that straight through to the keeper outside off for no runs. Here we are, Abdul steaming in. Lightly hit back straight to the bowler. Score sitting comfortably at 119. For the loss of three wickets. It will be HK as its job to take through the game. Through the offside. Lofts it on the ground. They run one. The call for two. Halil sends him back. And that's the end of the 14th over. HK Z development 11. 120 for three of 14. New bowler in, Mohamed Shaquille. Into Daniel, who's just come in, four balls in. We're waiting to see what magic he can pull through for the Crick Devils. Short, a lofted shot, going nowhere, hitting the splice of the bat. Fall short of the man at long on. And it's one run, which brings Halil, the manager, on strike. Looking around, having looking at the field. Just going through his gameplay. Mohamed Shakil in. Slower ball. Oh, and Halil... Just trying to flat bat that right over the bowler's head. Misses it completely. And shadow bats the shot he should have played. And hit straight over the man. Uh, cover straight to long off. Well fielded. It will just be the one run. Straight onto the pads, but again, a light 
appeal from the bowler himself. The fielders around giving him words of encouragement. Creek Devils in a position to bring the game back and to restrict HKZ to no more than 150, 160, with just five overs left. Muhammad Shakil, slower ball and bowls him! Brilliant slower ball, Yorker. Daniel absolutely bamboozled with that delivery. And he's cleaned him up with an absolute brilliant slower ball all over him. He's taken the stump out. And that's another one for the Crick Devils. HKZ now four down for 122. The new batsman, Tanmoy Gosh, number 35, walks onto the wicket with his manager, Halil Ramzan. Tanmoy coming in, the lefty up against his father's team. His father just there at cover, listening in on the conversation between his son and the HKZ manager. He'll be on strike, the lefty. He's been working hard in the nets and on the VR and on the Oculus. And here he is with the golden black pads, the green bat, Tanmoy Gosh up against Mohamed Shakil who's just removed the dangerous Daniel with a brilliant slow ball Yorker. Let's see what kind of rivalry we're up against now. And Dunmoy gone very first ball. What is going on there? A brilliant fast delivery from Mohamed Shakil. It's gone straight through the gates. Dunmoy all over that. And he's rattled the stumps yet again. HKZ, half of the team dismissed for 122. Halil just watching the massacre from the non strikers and Tanmoy. A string of bad games today. Unfortunate to go very first ball. And Crick Devils right back in the game. They've taken it away from HKZ. And now we have the vice skipper, Sharmin Rams at number 42, jogging onto crease to join his brother, the brand ambassador walking onto the crease, hoping to save HKZ and rescue them from this, what would we say, critical. critical situation, to put it lightly. 15 overs gone, HKZ 122 for five. Okay, here we have now Furkan Ashraf coming in to Halil. Short delivery, straight through to the keeper. Halil misses that just outside of. 
He's quite tall. He's got a bit of height on him, this bowler. So we'll be looking to get that extra bant, extra bounce out of this HKZ wicket. Slightly fuller, straight onto the box. Miscommunication between Halil and Sharma, but Sharma sends him back. HKZ. Still have a bit of experience left into the dugout. Halil just smacks it straight back to the bowler and the Crick Devils are celebrating but here we are now the use of the HKZ third umpire decision to check was it a bump ball and here we have straight did it go straight to the bowler off the bounce or straight into his hands yet to find out Halil, a good innings of 24 17 comes to an end. Walk off. Here we have now a brilliant innings there by Halil 24 of 17 deliveries. A good little cameo from him. And now he can hold his head high as he walks off. It was a good catch from the bowler. HK is at now 122 for six. Three wickets lost in the space of seven deliveries. HK is in deep, deep, deep trouble. The new batsman, the teacher, Hasib Ahmed, who walks into the crease with Shamil. See, slightly inexperienced. Oh, hits the first ball and he's off the mark. Very first delivery. A quick single taken by Shamil. And Hasib's off the mark with his very first delivery. Slightly inexperienced in the game of cricket. Would classify himself as more as a, a loopy leg spinner than a batsman. But he's there to support his, support his vice captain, Shamil. He's in here facing up his first delivery. Straight, nudge down to long on for a single and they'll go through. And that calls the end of the over. 
16 overs gone. HKSZ development 11, 124 for six. Looking for a way to come out of the mud to post up a good total against the strong Crick Devils and their brilliant batting lineup. That's a wonderful shot. That's a wonderful shot by Sharma. Goes for a dive. Just drops it with an excellent effort by the man. Ooh, that's a wide ball. You can see Shamil, the man, came in at, I think, number seven here. Shamil coming at number eight at seven. You can see his other partner, Hasib. He's been bowling extremely well in these past few games. Yes, he's left arm medium. Ooh, doesn't turn that at all, but he's, ooh, he's misfilled that. And they'll grab a quick single there. Beautiful running by Shimmy and Hazim. And that's end of the over.
That's a beautiful catch by the man on the boundary. The man Sharma is clearing it. Doesn't get all of it, and that's caught on the boundary by the man. That's a wonderful catch. You can see fielders happy, keepers happy, captains happy. That's the moral, and that's the atmosphere a team should have. Playing like that, it's just amazing piece of team. I've got Duarte Brothers here with me here on the sidelines. Duarte Brothers, I want to ask you a few questions. You know, um, as an international player, you you carry South Africa at the nineteens um, in the World Cup. I want to ask you, um, do you think I'm close to you on the batting level? Um, actually, I'm not allowed to to play this cricket. You know, um, as you can see, I played in the under nineteen, um, uh, and uh, thanks to the Lord up there, He uh, allowed me to score my runs. Um, and then just getting signed for the APL, unlucky on me. I've got a bit of a niggle on my um, on uh, my knee, so I've just travelled back from Mumbai. But here I am in Vision Cricket Centre, um, just giving support to you, you young lads. You know, giving um, you the motivation. Um, I don't want to say how much I paid you for my training sessions, but thank you so much. You know, you trained me. I couldn't hit boundaries anymore. Uh, the time is up for my interview. Thank you. Oh yeah, he got paid just literally how much? Five billion for that. Five billion for just talking to that set. That's the man. Do his beers. Always oh, coming in, Reese. Oh, quick single there, that's good running. Santosh.
A brilliant shot there by Anas Mustafa. Slightly shorter, using the special handmade crafted bat by MB Malik for the young Mohammed Ramzan. He's out there. HKZ 165 for 8 in 20.4. Two balls to go in this final power play over. Can HKZ hit that 170 mark? And a Yorker straight through and called a wide. Anas just getting, trying to get underneath that, trying to hit that over the fine leg boundary. HKZ 166 for eight. And I'll hand over to the commentary box to Halil for the uh, last two balls. Yes, um, thank you so much, Husnan. That's a wonderful show by Anas Mustafa. He's good, but you know, I think it will be two. Two there, two, two. No, no, no. Oh, that's a beautiful piece of running there by Reyes and Anis Mustafa. Mohamed Ramzan, is that Mohamed Ramzan? Is that your bat? Yes, it's so gone. You know your bat is such a beautiful piece of cricket. You know I want to use your bat. <laughs> Can I use your bat? Ball. And that's the end of the 21 overs. What's the score? 169 here for eight. Can HKZ development one? Defenders, what do you think, Sully? I think it's possible. You know, with the opening bowler, the new opening bowler, hello, um, Raza, come with Radar first. Yeah, why, why are you shining? You know, he's a good bowler. Hello! Ah! 